five MCAs were arrested and detained at Mtitwandei police station following chaos that erupted at St. Joseph's Girls Kibwezi during the unveiling of a new principal. Police officers had to intervene after local community and the MCAs blocked the newly posted principal Rose Kiragu and education officials from accessing the school premises. The MCAs are Nicholas Maitha, Jadis Kalunda, Abana Swambua, Janet Ngina and Miriam Musioka and they are expected in court tomorrow. In West Pokot County, students of Kapenguria Boys High School woke up in the morning not ready for classes. The agitated students marched through the streets of Kapenguria in West Pokot demanding the immediate reinstatement of their principal, James Omayo, who has since been transferred to Makunga Boys High School in the neighboring Transoya County. Their attempt to access the office of the County Director of Education was thwarted by police, who used tear gas to disperse them. However, the students vowed not to attend any lessons, forcing the County Director of Education, Jared Obiero, to shut the school. <laughs> Parents who visited the school led by John Aengwo called on the government to revoke the transfer of the principal, claiming he was the brains behind the school's success in the national examinations. Our principal, Kabinguria Boys, did very well. He only served as a principal for, for less than one year. And I thought TSC would reward him. I didn't know when you do well and when your school excels, you are, you are removed, you are taken, parents... We are now uncertain where to go to. We, our, 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 all our resources, we are pumped into school. But now, we do not know where, where we are heading to. <coughs> but in Saboti sub-county of Transoya County, the situation was totally different in Sukwo Primary School. <coughs> Parents were up in arms demanding the immediate transfer of the headmistress, whom they accused of poor management. Led by Alexander Cherogon, the parents locked the school's administration office, blaming the headmistress for the poor performance of the school. Tangu hii shule yansishwe. Ama hii, tangu hii shule, huyu mama haingia. Aja waifanya mikutano hata moja. Kati ya wasasi na kamati ya shule, aja waifanya. The parents have issued an ultimatum that no learning will take place in the facility until the headmistress is out. Our wasasi wamefunga the whole thing. This is the second attempt for the parents to try kicking out the headmistress. On 2nd January this year, students joined them in a demonstration when the schools were opening for the first term, demanding that the head teacher be transferred. Reporting for Channel 1 News Hour, I'm Ron Cliff, ODT.